Brady, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I am doing great. Uh, I really enjoyed Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And I was wondering, did you have experience with the books or the movies or anything beforehand? What was your reaction when Greg came into your life? Um, yeah, well, the first time that Greg came into my life was actually in third or fourth grade when I heard about the books. And that was, uh, that was the first time that I heard about Greg Heffley and Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, instantly I got hooked on the books and I started reading all of them and uh, the movies I grew up with and everything. So just to be uh, just to be part of such an amazing franchise and just especially doing the voice of Greg, which is a childhood dream come true. I love that. How did you um, find like the voice of Greg? Obviously it's your voice, but how did you like decide the process of like how you're going to read these lines or did you get to bounce off of other actors or the director? Um, no, I got to... Um, I didn't really bounce off of anyone. We did our own individual sessions. So it was kind of all up to me, but I did a lot of homework. I reread all the books. I watched all the movies again. I took an inspiration from the books mainly, but I definitely listened to the voice in the movies because I know, um, I know fans of big franchises aren't, aren't subject to a big change. So mm. I tried to get that, that pitch of the original voice as closely as I can to possible. Mm. So you get that nostalgia voice. So I, I kind of went with a higher pitched voice to match uh, the original Greg and kind of put my own little spin on it. But I think it sounds, I think it sounds pretty close to the original. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it sounds good. Yeah. You no, know, I thought you did a great job with it. Um, also, <laughs> so when I watched the trailer, the first thing I noticed was all these comments being like, Greg doesn't seem like enough of a sociopath. And then I watched the first like five minutes and I was like, I don't know. He seems, he seems kind of sociopathic to me. Um, I know that the author has said like, I don't consider him that. I think he's just, you know, adjusting. He has less than desirable social skills. Um, what do you make of said social skills and the way that Greg behaves, especially at the start of the film? Um, I definitely think that he's just trying to prove to everyone that he's the coolest kid alive. <laughs> um, I think that, that uh, the popularity concept in his head is definitely a big factor on why he's acting the way he does in the beginning of the movie, especially through the midway of the movie where I think he gets lost. Um, but definitely towards the end of the movie, you really find his true colors and uh, where his priorities are at with his friends and what he does with Rally and the, the cheese touch situation at the end of the movie is just, I think, so beautiful and it wraps up their, uh, their friendship so amazingly. Definitely. Speaking of Rally and that friendship, it's kind of like at the heart of the stories in general, but especially this story. How do you view that friendship and how do you think Greg sees Rally like that, that progression of that friendship over the course of the film? Um, I think Greg initially doesn't really take it that seriously. Um, it's a very strong friendship, you can tell. Um, and I feel like everyone can almost put themselves in Greg's shoes and even Rally's shoes, because I'm sure everyone has that, that right-hand man that they hang out with and their go-to guy or girl. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely, um, definitely he doesn't take it seriously in the beginning. I think he's just like, oh, he's my friend. But then towards the end of the movie, he's like, he's my only friend. Mm -hmm. He's, he's it. Who's he, This is it. I, I can't, I can't screw this up anymore. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think he definitely takes it more serious. I think he's not taking it as, as lightly as he was in the beginning of the film towards the end. I love that. Now, you did mention the cheese touch, which is, of course, a, a huge antagonist for Greg Heffley. Is there anything in your life that is like the cheese touch or, you know, in your childhood? that you? <laughs> we actually played a game called Cheese Touch at recess with my friends, and it was inspired because of Diary of a Kid, which it was essentially just tag. But, uh, <laughs> but it was like, I'll explain the rules of the game because like people can play it. It's actually fun. It's um. <laughs> It's the same game as Poison. I don't know if you've heard of Poison, but it's literally, we just called it the cheese touch. So <laughs> one person has the cheese touch, then if they tag that person, then now both of you guys have the cheese touch and mm. you still have to go. And then like, now if you tag another one, then three of you have it, then, and the last person standing wins. Um, mm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a fun game that we used to play at recess. And it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, it was inspired because Diary of a Kid. I love that. Diary of a Wimpy Kid inspiring people in many ways. On the opposite end, are there any lessons that you have learned either while playing Greg or that were um, inspired by his hardships? <laughs> definitely, definitely um, the mistakes that Greg made and how he rebounded from them to, uh, to stay with all of his friends is something that I, I definitely picked up and implemented into my own life. And just taking a positive outlook on things like, uh, like Greg does when he has the cheese touch and he's like, Hey, this isn't that bad. I get free tables. Everyone gives me space. Just looking at, at things that are bad in a positive aspect is something that I, I've really tried to 
put in my life as well and try and implement from Greg. Definitely. Uh, what are your views on Greg and his family dynamic? I thought it was so interesting that like at first it's kind of like Rowley where he just like kind of acts like he's like not interested, but when his mother calls him out, he has, he has some reflecting to do. What do you think is the relationship between him and his parents? Um, I think it's, I think it's great. I think his parents really understand him. Um, I think that they can kind of tell when something's up. So they'll say something and then he's like, Oh God, what does she know? What doesn't she know? And I feel like that's kind of the relationship I have with my mom as well. So it's, it's very similar. Like my mom knows, um, if, if, uh, like I didn't let the trash out, did you let the trash out? Yeah, I did. Did you? I said, I will. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very similar. I love it. I'm, I'm doing it now. Now I'm doing it. Doing it now. <laughs> that is fabulous. Now, um, I also really enjoyed you in Mighty Ducks, Game Changers. And I know we're coming back for season two, even though even though it breaks my heart that Amelia won't be there, but I want to see what Evan's up to. Um, what are you most excited about going back to that show? Um, Just... um. Just excited to go back and uh, get back to work. I know uh, the pandemic wasn't helping, so being able to work on multiple different projects um, it's just it's just a blessing. I'm super, super excited to get to work. Um, I know that we're in um, we're starting um, production. I'm not too sure when, but uh, I know that they're uh, currently writing the script, which is awesome. So yay! And then finally, uh, since you are an enthusiast of the Wimpy Kid Adventures. What is it that you would like to see Greg and Rowley get up to next? Is there a particular book you want to adapt or just? Um... I want to see them go to high school. <laughs> I want to see how they would survive high school. And now that um, Roderick, like by the time Greg gets into high school, Roderick should be leaving, I think, or something like that. I mm -hmm. feel like. Um, so yeah, I feel like now Roderick would be like, all right, this is the survival guide of high school. And it's just this whole new level of, of, you have to play football and then they go play football and they get like bodied, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, I cannot wait to see when that happens. Hopefully we're going to get around to that soon then. Thank you so much. Well, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for everyone to, to watch this movie and enjoy.